Happy New Year guys and welcome to 2023. As we get a foot in the door of this brand new year, I thought it might be fun to see who celebrates their birthday on January 1st. So here is a list of 10 famous people who all share the same birthday. Some of them you may never have heard of, but I'm sure there will be one or two that you do know. So come with me as we start off this brand new year counting down 10 January 1st famous birthdays. Frank Langella Frank Langella was born on January 1st, 1938. Frank Langella is an actor that is most revered in the American theatre industry, where he has won four Tony Awards. He then replicated his success in the film and TV industry, appearing in popular movies and TV series. His memoir, Dropped Names, attracted critical appreciation with some even calling it a celebration of sluttiness as a noble way of life. Larry L. King Larry L. King was born on January 1st, 1929. Larry L. King was an American playwright, journalist and novelist best remembered for his 1978 Tony Award nominated play The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, which became a long-running production on Broadway and was later turned into a feature film starring Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds. After his military service and a year as a journalism major at Texas Tech, King worked as a sports and crime reporter for small newspapers in Texas and New Mexico. His soul-searching Confessions of a White Racist was nominated for a National Book Award in 1972. King died on December 20th, 2012 at a retirement home in Washington, D.C. Don Nellen Donald Eugene Nellen was born on January 1st, 1936. Don Nellen is a former American football player and coach. He was head football coach at Bowling Green State University and at West Virginia University. Nellen retired from coaching college football in 2001 with a career record of 202-128-8. Nellen was a multi-sport athlete at Lincoln High School in Canton, Ohio, where he excelled in football, basketball and baseball. Since his retirement from coaching, Nellen has been a spokesperson for the coal industry. In 2002, he received the Distinguished West Virginian Award from the West Virginia Broadcasters Association. In 2005, he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Devlet Basley Devlet Basley was born on January 1st, 1948. Devlet Basri is a Turkish politician, economist and former Deputy Prime Minister and is the current Chairman of the Nationalist Movement Party. An academic in economics from Ghazi University, Bakeli is a founder of the Grey Wolves and was elected as the Chairman of the MHP in the first Congress held after the death of Alpazian Turks in 1997. He entered Parliament for the first time in the 1999 general election as a deputy from Osmaraz, taking part as Deputy Prime Minister in the USP, MHP, NAAP coalition between 1999 and 2002. 
and ultimately brought the government down. He resigned from his position as chairman when his party fell below the 10% electoral threshold in the 2002 general election, but was re-elected in the 2003 Congress. Bakheri and his party have been serving in the Grand National Assembly since regaining their seats in Parliament in 2007. He has been described as a kingmaker in Turkish politics. Tony Curry Anthony William Curry was born January 1st, 1950. Tony Curry is an English former footballer who had significant spells for Sheffield United, Leeds United and Queen's Park Rangers, as well as representing England. He was an effervescent and exuberant attacking midfield player with the vision and ability to strike long, dangerous passes. Curry was a talented schoolboy footballer who represented Hendon Boys before joining Queen's Park Rangers as an amateur, whilst also working for a building firm. He joined Chelsea as an apprentice, but was released and moved to Watford to complete his apprenticeship, earning England youth honours in the process. He turned professional in May 1967 and made his league debut the following season. He played in the World Cup qualifier against Poland, which was held at Wembley Stadium in 1973. Stephanie Farisi Stephanie Farisi was born on January 1st, 1952. Stephanie Farisi is an American actress. She is known for playing supporting roles in films including Heaven Can Wait, Scavenger Hunt, Blind Date, Hocus Pocus and Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. On television, Farisi has had leading roles in a number of sitcoms, most significantly True Colours. She is currently playing the character Lisa Lawson, the mother of Neil Patrick Harris's Michael on the Netflix comedy series Uncoupled. She studied acting at Illinois Wesleyan University and Yale School of Drama. She began her acting career on stage in New York and in 1976 she made her debut on television in an episode of ABC sitcom Laverne and Shirley. Fiona Phillips Fiona Phillips was born on January 1st, 1961. Fiona Phillips is an English journalist, broadcaster and television presenter. She is best known for her presenting roles on the ITV Breakfast Program and GMTV Today. Fiona graduated from Birmingham Polytechnic with a BA in English. She also undertook a postgraduate certificate in journalism. She started her career in independent radio, working as a reporter for local stations County Sound in Surrey and Radio Mercury in Sussex. Dee Dee Pfeiffer Dee Dee Pfeiffer was born on January 1st, 1964. Dorothy Diane Dee Dee Pfeiffer is an American actress and the younger sister to Michelle Pfeiffer. She began her career appearing in films such as Vamp, The All Nighter and The Horror Show. She later starred as Sybil Shepherd's daughter Rachel in the CBS sitcom Sybil and as Sherry DiCarlo Winston in the UPN sitcom For Your Love. In 2020, she began starring as Denise Brisbane in the ABC crime drama series, Big Sky. E.M. Forster E.M. Forster was born on January 1st, 1879. Forster is best known for his iconic novels, Howard's End and A Passage to India. 
British author Ian Forster dealt with themes such as class division and gender. Born in England and educated at Cambridge, he also spent some time as a secretary to the Maharaja of India. Ian Forster died on June 7, 1970. J.D. Salinger J.D. Salinger was born on January 1, 1919. Salinger was born in Manhattan in New York. He is probably best remembered for his controversial novel The Catcher in the Rye, which was banned in many school libraries due to its sexual content. His other notable works include the anthology Nine Stories and the novella called Hapware. He spent much of his life in seclusion until his death on January 27, 2010. There you have it guys. Did you recognise any of the people listed here? Well, let me know down in the comments section what you thought of today's video. And if you have any suggestions about what sort of videos you'd like to see in the future, then just go ahead and leave me a message. As always, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new here, then subscribe to the channel so you can get more great content just like this. Once again guys, a very happy new year to you all. Let's hope that 2023 is a fantastic year for all of us. Until the next video guys, take care and stay safe. Bye bye.